Well, gender selection can be uh, done in two different ways. Uh, uh, a relatively simplistic way, which is not very accurate in regard to its results, is an insemination of the man's sperm that has been washed in a way that is supposed to try to separate the X and the Y chromosomes. Washing sperm is not a very effective way to do that, and the net result on that type of gender selection is not more than about 60-65% of the gender that you want. So probably at least one-third of the time when you have a birth from that, it's the gender you don't want. And the uh, process itself of insemination does not really increase normal fertility. So whatever the fertility normally is, it's maintained, but it's not effective positively or negatively by doing the insemination. Alternatively, it's possible to utilize technology today to really affect gender selection, whereby we can take a cell from an embryo and test its chromosomes before causing a pregnancy. And the accuracy of gender selection by that modality is probably as high as about 98-99%. Fertility is also influenced by that process because it's one in which you take a normal embryo that has been shown not only to grow normally but to be genetically normal and place it inside of the woman's uterus, thereby significantly increasing normal fertility rates. But it's a different process. It's called in vitro fertilization, where we can actually study the embryo before it causes a pregnancy.